Uh, I wonder if doing like that would help me out at all. Now yeah, I'll just flatten the tile and that'll probably help things out. Uh, all right, continue that a little bit further. Make sure it's street wherever it has to be. Looks like I have to do a little bit of work with uh, fixing up the SAM textures over to the right a little bit. I'll get on that in a moment. Oof, kind of brutal actually. Alright, perfect. Make sure that's fixed up as well. And over here, again, we're getting to this super uneven road. So hopefully that'll fix it up a little bit, what I just did. Yeah, it looks a little bit better, I guess. Alright, looking good. And now, at this main intersection right here, it's clearly a natural place to have tulips. And I'm actually going to continue the road to as far as the edge of town right there. Uh, so, well, that's actually a little bit close. Would have been plenty of space for how I used to do tulips, but uh, I do tend to like them a little bit larger these days. Seems like three tiles should be plenty sufficient though for a road by road intersection. That's a good 150 feet of turn lane. And over here, it's going to need to look a little bit different because there is a little less space. Uh, Actually, you know what, I don't really like that after all. I am instead going to use ARD3 right there. Whoop, yeah, just like that. Huh. That's not looking so hot. Yeah, I didn't change it at all, but whatever. Yeah, so using ARD3 right here seems to make logical sense. And then I'll just get my transition right here. And yeah, do it like that. That gives a little bit of extra space as kind of a makeshift turn lane for the street as well, which is cool. So back to our basic tulips. Um, yeah, we could probably use a dashed blank tile right there. Um, and just a normal blank one right here. Another right there. And another right here. And Yeah, that's right. Now, it's all we really need is the A1 pieces. Total of eight of them. Ooh, uh, looks like I made a little mistake on this side as far as the spacing. I'll fix that in a moment. Uh, just do the rest of these A1s first. And, uh, yeah, I want the T1 
TN transition right there to be like that. Then I use my TLA3 to um, two left transition in order to get the actual entrance to the turn lanes. Over here I screwed up the spacing as well. Man, really going to going to sleep on the job here today, huh? Uh, yeah, we want the T end, of course. And is that right? Yes. Okay, so that's a decent looking intersection, I suppose. It is just way too sloped, though. Yeah, that slope is nasty. And I can't even, uh, well, there's going to be a little bump at the actual space of the intersection right there. Not too much to do about it. It's not a big deal, though. So, uh, I guess I have to go back to the transition really quick. No! No! That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. See, that's the problem with how you kind of can't see this stuff half the time. <coughs> Alright, well... The slope there, it's not beautiful, but I think it should work. And now should be fairly elementary to uh, do the two laps for this other thing too. Yeah, I might as well do it a little bit differently this time and not use ARD3. Can have a tulip on have a T end on this side though without anything like that. Yes, that's how I wanted it. Um, Alright, so I'll get the road stuff out of the way really quick. Yeah, A1's in both directions. Alright, now let's get our blank. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. And it just occurred to me I forgot to plop the intersection over here. Alright, got it. Uh, while I'm doing intersections, I might as well get this one in place as well. And do the avenue turn lanes. So, yeah, I think three tiles for now is all right. Uh, let's get our Tech A1 pieces in, and the blanks, and yeah, that looks fine. So that's it as far as, uh, um, what's it called, as far as turning lanes, right? You know, while I'm at it, I feel like I might as well upgrade this road as well. I promise it's the last one, <laughs> at least for this video. Uh, probably the best way to do that would be something a little like this. And then I would make this hook up right around here, I suppose. Have a I don't think I'll do the curve any differently from how it was just before though. All right, yeah, that's how I wanted it. All right. Yeah, it'll get rid of those trees if I do it. No, no, I was somehow able to preserve the trees. 
guess I spoke too soon. Uh, Alright, so let's finish with the zoning stuff, huh? Maybe there could be a little bit more commercial use along this avenue here. Say around the main intersection here. Another one right there. And some stuff along the very edge of town. Because that's a natural place for a business to spring up. Yeah, this farm is going to be need to be demolished, it looks like. And mostly, yeah, there are going to be some just normal houses along the main road. They'll probably sell for less because of the traffic noise and everything. So the one, th one thing about grid areas is they're very easy to zone. And let me get rid of... I actually want my houses to face the central roadway here. Mm. Let's get something similar going there. And right there. And... Yeah. We def it's definitely going to be very intensively developed around here. Not a lot of empty space this close to the center of town. Alright. So we're making good progress already, I'd say. What with the zoning and everything. These roads look like the planner was drunk when they got laid out. <laughs> Alright, so there are going to be houses between the road and the rail line in this direction. Hmm. Over here, man, it does not like me. I guess I could always just do that. Ah, uh, hell. I don't like it, but what choice do I have, right? Too bad I can't uh, fit a sign there. Because that's exactly the kind of curve that could use a sign to warn people about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this area is working well. Huh, will this work alright? Eh, uh, not really. It was borderline, but... Uh, just a little bit across the border for me, I guess. Have a little bit of development in this nook here. Over here, people will live along the main road and not complain about it. That trend will continue for a little distance. Yep. Not a lot of wasted space around this area.
All right, I'd say we are uh, here. I'll zone out this edge first so that I can work in a little bit more of a uniform right to left fashion. And I think along this edge, there will just be kind of scattered development along the outer road. Don't want it to be, you know, too intensive. I want it to look like something that is growing organically. Over here, this is a super, these super sort streets uh, can only really have one house facing them. Alright, in fact I might as well get rid of a few of these, yeah, so far so good I would say. Over here I think I'll just have a little bit of forest kind of after the edge of these houses. Hmm. So I might as well zone this outer road though. my zones face each other as much as I can. Hmm. If I were to do that, that I could get that to face the way I wanted. Nope. Gotta do just another tile's worth, I guess. Over here, I could also expand that zone of tile. That one faced the way I wanted right off the bat, which is good. have some more commercial around here by this bus stop. I'll think about it for a minute and if I will I'll build it pretty soon. So I think I'll just have sort of the residential development along the north side of this uh, main avenue kind of terminate where that farm starts and hopefully that should not be too much of an issue. Alright, looks like there'll be a little bit of room for some nice trees in the center of these blocks. Alright, getting some interesting zone shapes over here. That one house is awfully close to the railroad, but, well, it's not like they're going to actually complain to me about it. Yeah, over here, might as well have the zones facing the road stop, where it becomes the railroad crossing. Seeing as that's likely to be its busiest point anyway. Now over here, I actually think I want to have zones facing the smaller road. It's just the way I usually do it, I guess. Okay. I think we're more than halfway done with the zoning now. Apologies if it's a little bit more of a boring aspect of these videos. 
it is repetitive, I mean, there's no two ways about that. It's kind of like, you know, the Casper VG said, SimCity 4 is really just about a bunch of glorified repetitive tasks that you just do over and over and over again, at least if you want to make anything that looks good. So again, looks like some really interestingly shaped zones are around that cul-de-sac. Yeah, I do not want a zone facing like that actually, so I think I'll do it like this. And then boom, boom, boom. 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 Perfect. Woof. Just uh, alt-tabbed out by accident when I hit the window key there. Took the opportunity to look at my recording time though, and holy shit, we're already at about an hour ten minutes. So, I think I'll just continue at my own pace um, as far as finishing this, but definitely I'm not getting to that western neighborhood in this video. It's going to be a very long one as is. Maybe I'll do that in another video and record that soon. I'll think about it. Of course, meanwhile, there's quite a bit of zoning left to do. And of course, we want it to be fixed on uh, day. I really don't like the. Um, variable time mode. Oh, I didn't know that kind of intersection still worked. I, I think I must have just screwed it up the last time I was trying to attempt one. Oh, no, no, that, I was just being confused. Uh, it works like that because it's an S-curve, it's not a 45 degree curve. So, it really, I'm just going back and doing the detail spots right now. Yeah, this looks like it will work like that. Um, need to fix that street real quick. And because it is not a 45 degree curve there, I can safely put a zone right there. Okay, so it looks like that's about the extent of the um, new areas I was building. So the next thing I might as well do is uh, replace some of the trees I had to get rid of. So I'm going to have to be careful not to get these all over a bunch of farmland. Because that always sucks, and it looks like I already did it right there. Oh shit. No, 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 that tree was just super tall. Yeah, that's probably tempting fate to do any more than that there. I already screwed up this uh, grass farm right here. Let me just demolish that little spot there. Now I have to demolish that too. Whatever. Alright. Let's 
get some more trees in over on this side. And there's a nice big gap here to fill with trees. Used to be another farm. Yep, that looks like a plan. And uh, alongside the rail line can really use some more trees in a bunch of areas where uh, the slope kind of got messed with uh, just through building roads nearby. Over here is one of them. Over there I want an especially dense copse. Mm. Now let's just fill in some of these last little spots. Like there. And over here and right there. That sounds good to me. Uh, now I did say I wanted to put some commercial here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have a nice big one right there. And how's about a couple smaller ones as well? Just uh, neighborhood stores for people who don't want to make take the whole trek down to this area. Um, and in general that seems like it should be plenty of stuff. So I'm gonna just take a save really quick while looking at this scenic cliff face. Uh, gotta love those seasonal bushes that the tree controller spits out sometimes at just high enough of an altitude. Mm. There are a lot of places in this region though, city tiles I've just recently started that are so high in altitude that across the entire 2.5 mile by 2.5 mile tile, there's no space for, or uh, no opportunity for any god mode trees, which is kind of weird, but yeah. For now, I'm just going to let development go on and it'll probably be a couple of years to get um, all these zones to come in, but um, i that's what we're going to do. This may be a 90 minute video by the time I'm done recording it. In fact, the more I say that, the more I think I really ought to split this one into two parts. Yeah, I think I probably will do that. It'll be the first two-part video I've, uh, or a two-part recording that I've released in two videos in a long time. I don't like doing that in general because uh, I like for the beginning of every video to have a nice uh, look at the region view, and I like to also end every video with one of those as well. But uh, you can't get that every time, I suppose. Now over here, that is not developing how I wanted it to. And neither is that. Man, I hate uh, those large lot mansions in this game. I think they're just really stupid looking. Whoops. Fortunately enough, if you get rid of them fast enough, they usually don't come back in, uh, at least not right away. So yeah, some traffic is coming in, or not traffic, but uh, some development is coming in fairly fast, which is cool to see. And wow, I love how the city looks on, how the roadmap of the city looks now. 
It's pretty cool, isn't it? Let's see if uh, the volumes have updated at all, and sure enough, they have. Looks like they're pretty much staying on the main avenues, which is what I wanted, so that's nice to see. Uh, not too much congestion on the side streets around here. In fact, I don't see any. I only see congestion on main roads, which are designed to handle a little bit of it, so that's all good. Now one thing I can do as uh, development just goes on is to replace a couple of the signs I had to get rid of. So I believe I need a new uh, approaching divided highway and a new lane ends sign around here. Uh, actually there's no room for the lane end sign so I believe I didn't even have one before so I don't think I'll put a new one in actually. So this, uh, I think uh, a good three tiles ahead of the transition is a great spacing. Mm. And up here I wanted to get a couple of signs to just warn drivers about these abrupt curves here. see if I can find that. Alright, 90 degree left left turn. That should be good right there. And where's the 90 degrees right? It's got to be below here, right? Yeah. Put that right there. Whoop. And the graphics bug tends to go a little bit crazy as soon as I uh, put simulation on. Alright, so we'll get another sign of a similar sort right there. And also, let me see if, wh where I can fit one over here. Uh, it looks like it's gonna have to be sort of on top of the curve already, but that'll be fine, right? Okay, looks like a lot more zones have come in over here, but there is definitely, um, definitely I want to wait for more development before I say I'm finished with this video though. Might as well turn off the uh, traffic view for a minute, it does kind of, it is visually a little bit jarring. You know what, this area doesn't really have too much in the way of parks. So I might as well build a couple small ones of those. I'm not sure I already have the full complement of soccer field and softball field in this uh, in this uh, city. So it might be a good idea to, to get a couple of those in place. Mm. See if I can't find a better fit for this one. I don't want it to be somewhere that's too heavily sloped, though, is the thing. Uh, and I'm just prevaricating a little bit. Uh, crap, there should be good enough, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. That slope is just good enough, I would say. Mm. And it's close enough to the main road there that it should be convenient for people from all around the city. Now the softball field. Uh, ooh, looks like I forgot to zone a couple areas around here. Softball field would be a perfect fit there, I think. I'll get those zones in while I'm at it. 
All right. Now, are there any parks in this general vicinity? Nope. So, uh, what would be appropriate here? Maybe a neighborhood playground? Yeah, right there. Uh, it's actually probably not the best placement. I'd rather have it be off the main road, you know, so that the kids won't be running into traffic. But yeah, all three of those were Maxis parks, but hopefully they should be good enough to spur on development a little bit more. And while I'm near them, I might as well put a couple more signs in place. Right here, put a left turn sign. Uh, maybe... Uh, maybe a... Where'd the rough road sign go? I thought it was around here somewhere. Oh well. Oh yeah, right there. I think I'll put one of these for people going onto the dirt road, accessing the agricultural areas. And where's my 90 degree right curve sign? Right here. I'll just stick it right there and move the zone to face another way. So yeah, this all seems like a pretty good deal. Man. Zones over here though still don't really want to come in. I guess they're pretty damn far from all the new parks I plopped down. I could have another one, I suppose, in this area. We'll use something custom content this time, though, instead of just more Maxis blandness. Yeah, 4x2. I think that plaza uses canals, though. Hmm. Small Pond Plaza? Maybe I could have a couple of those right here, just to class up this area a little bit. Mm. What else is there that I could use? A couple of these small plazas maybe. Are there any single tile zones I could replace with it? Eh, not really. Heck, I could also always put them right there. It's a bit silly looking. But um, I'll use another of those CDK type plazas in order to... Uh, prevent monotony. In fact, I'll just use three of that one. All right. Well, no funding flew. Uh, service funding is definitely something that's easy to improve if it's hampering development. Yep, sure enough, the hospital could use more and the clinic too. Yeah, that should be good enough. Of course, I have plenty of budget to burn on this stuff. I don't know if I've really built schools or anything for this city yet. I suppose I could do those um, after I build the western suburbs that we're going to go in that corner of the map. That's going to be for another day, though. So what does my residential demand look like? Oof, still plenty of room for poor people. 
which makes me think hmm, maybe I should put more create a couple new industrial zones in order to encourage them to come in yeah we'll see if that one does anything and there could always be another one across the street from it Oof, I like that zone There, that's very Maxis though. I mean, yeah. It's typical though. Mm. Uh, you know what? I think I will just run the simulator myself for a little bit and I'll meet you back once these last zones have all come in so you can sort of see what the end result looks like and of course it turns out they're all coming in just a moment after I turned off the recording well that's how it works doesn't it I'm sure if you care to know just how long you could always go back and compare the dates in the lower left corner of the street of the screen but yeah I think I'm just going to keep the time going until September. Some stuff will doubtless redevelop in that time, and then I'll do my final pause and uh, end the video right there. Mm -hmm. So, small talk. Uh, I just wa started watching The Sopranos for the first time recently. I uh, just finished episode 4, I think it was, earlier today. Uh, good stuff. I had to force myself to finish watching the first two, but right with number 3, I watched that a day later, and man, it, you know, really hooked me. I, I'm really looking forward to it. I loved uh, The Wire, uh, Breaking Bad, The Shield. I also watched all seven seasons relatively quickly recently. Uh, all good shows you should check out if you haven't seen them. Anyway, it looks like all the development has come in and we are on our final date. So I'm just going to look around at all the different neighborhoods of the city for just a minute. And man, I really do like how it's turned out. Hopefully all you guys agree. In fact, I'm sure if you really watch this video to the end uh, you probably do agree but yeah uh, that's it for Jamaica I guess um, I guess uh, I'll see you in the next video hope you enjoyed uh, and leave feedback if you can think of any